we'll do this as an example here. There's this shower that's occurring down near Bloomington. I'm going to go ahead and drag my mouse down to that location and the path in which these storms will be traveling. And so this polygon that has popped up here represents that area in which we'll be warning for. And we can make some adjustments on this here that perhaps we don't want to cover particular locations there. Um, so we'll narrow the size and scope of that particular warning. Once we've decided where we want that storm's path and, and the areas to be warned for, we come into the text portion here, we decide what type of warning that we want to be issuing. Uh, currently it's shown that we're issuing a severe thunderstorm warning, but I can easily change that with the click of a mouse to this now becomes a tornado warning. I also need to set the duration of that warning. And in this case here, it currently shows 30 minutes for duration here. I'm gonna bump that down to 20 minutes. And when it done did that, it shortened the length of this arrow here, which shows in the course of the next 20 minutes, this is where the storm is at now. This is where it'll be 20 minutes from now. I go into the various elements that will be included in the warning. This is a um, what we refer to as a base tornado warning. If this was a very significant case here where we have a large tornado that we've been had reported by storm spotters, uh, it might be a, an emergency situation. We might make that as a selection, a tornado emergency. But once we've made that selection, we move on to additional elements included in here. This was a radar indicated warning, but this might have been a case that the public or let's say law enforcement reported to us that that was a tornado. Additionally, there might be some large hail, maybe softball size hails falling from the storm based on reports from law enforcement. So we've made these selections. We go ahead and we then click on create text. Over here in my left hand screen will be the warning information that pops up. I do a quick check of that warning information to make sure everything looks good there. And if it looks good, we go ahead and hit the send button that sends that out the door. It activates weather radio, it activates crawls on television, it's activating the wireless emergency alert system for anybody who is inside that polygon area that was warned for.